BBC Radio 1. This is Radio 1 Breakfast with Greg James. Eddie Redmayne is here. And Eddie, we have chosen. We have chosen. We have chosen the winner. B, how excited are you? I'm so excited. It's going to be great. Then I can actually get on with my work as well. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry for keeping you, B. <laughs> sorry, Eddie Redmayne's holding you up. <laughs> right. Oh, <yeah. laughs> now, <laughs> this is a huge moment. Big moment. Huge, huge moment. Um, we are going to turn on B's furnace and um, we need some music, I think, to uh, we need, we need to make this dramatic, don't yeah. we? Yeah. So, B, can you, where, whereabouts are you now? Are you by the furnace? I'm right next to the burner in the furnace. I just need to set my oxygenator going. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, I love the technicals. So that's, that's like a pre, that's like a, uh, a drum roll, as it were. So I might just set that going now, shall I? Yeah, okay. do it. Great. So, oh, here, here we, we go. go. We're going to start the ceremony, B. if you're happy to continue. Yes, I am. It's so, all ready. It's all ready. <laughs> great. I'm nervous. Okay. So, Eddie, are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let us begin with a quote from Sirius Black. We've all got both light and dark inside us. What matters is the part we choose to act on. Well, today, we're acting on the light. The Christmas light. Yes. Happiness can be found even in the darkest of times. If one only remembers to turn on the light and, of course, ensure that the light has been pat-tested by a qualified muggle electrician. By, by the power of the national of grid. <laughs> by the power of the national grid. May these lights have the strength to last six whole weeks till Christmas. So let us prepare the area. Make sure your room is as dark as a niffler's coat. Draw the curtains just a smidge. Blow out the candles. No muggle will ever have seen lights as bright as these. May your Christmas 2018 be just like these lights in front of you. Spectacular, tasteful, homely and compliant with safety standard BS126. Let's say Expelliarmus to the Scrooges of this world. Let's bring Loomis to B's Sterling Furnace. Oh. That's a, but we should say that's a furnace in Sterling, not the, yet. The Sterling Furnace <laughs> on the count of three, two, one. Hey. Loomis Maxima! Woo! Woo! Is it on? Did it go? It's down, turn it out, turn it down, turn it down. <laughs> is it on? It is. It is. Are uh. you being safe, B? Because I don't want this to end tragically. Oh. Seriously, Gandalf no, can't I, cope I, with I, it. I, uh, I have my safety glasses on, which are quite Dumbledore-esque as Ooh. well. <laughs> Love it. Have we got and any... There we go. Anything? Yeah. There we go. A few words from the furnace. <laughs> the furnace is saying... That sounds encouraging. I don't know whether that was you or not, but I'll take it. <laughs> that, was, that was actually the... That was the... Uh, that was a burner. So was it was really? Well, yes, it was, yes. So it's like the most romantic light turning on... I've ever experienced. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. Well, B, That's thank right. you so much. And we are, again, sorry to keep you. Um, <laughs> but we'll, uh, again, we'll... whiskey filled baubles are available, as you know. <laughs> whiskey filled baubles. <laughs> Genuinely come, coming to buy them all. Yeah, for everybody. <laughs> That'd be great. Don't forget, um, Eddie's birthday is the 6th of January. Yeah, he did exactly. drop that in. Well, I know that you're meant to take, uh, yeah, take them down at that point, but. Uh, but... B, thank you so much <laughs> for being so part much, of the show. B. No, it's been an absolute pleasure. I can't wait to go on about it. <laughs> <laughs> Radio 1 Breakfast with Greg James.